What's up guys, Ben and Jake with Bakes Food. We're back again. This time we're gonna do a very special video. We're doing sushi today. We're gonna do California rolls and ribeye steak. It's gonna be great. Pack your bags, we're going to Japan. <laughs> The first thing you want to do is get the rice going. So we're using a rice cooker and two cups of premium sushi grade rice. We'll rinse the rice about five or six times until the water runs clear. Then add water to the line according to your rice cooker's directions. Set it on white rice and let it do its thing. While the rice is cooking, we'll cut up the ingredients. Then we'll go ahead and get our ribeye seasoned. We're using a coarse garlic and salt mixture. We're just gonna season that up on both sides and then let it sit at room temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we're making the sushi rice vinegar. Now this part is very important. You want to cool down the rice as quickly as possible using fanning and slicing techniques. If you have someone cooking with you, have them fan while you slice. We'll do this for about 10 minutes, and then add the rice vinegar. Once that's added in there, we'll do it again for another five minutes or so until there's only a little bit or no steam coming off the rice. It'll still be warm, and then we'll pack it down in the bowl, cover it with a towel, and set it aside. Then we'll preheat some oil in a cast iron pan at medium to medium high heat and add our ribeye. Now, Bakes Foods, we love our meat. Listen to that sizzle. Mm -hmm. After about eight minutes, we'll take that off. And we'll let it rest for about five to seven minutes, allowing the juices to flow back evenly. Then we'll cut it in about quarter inch slices bit more seasoning. Now for the fun part, rolling the sushi. Grab one sheet of nori or dry seaweed and have a bowl of water on hand to keep the rice from sticking to your fingers or the utensils. Now you'll scoop some rice onto the wrap and then spread it out evenly, making sure to cover the nori, but not too thick. Fingers wet here.
Now once we're satisfied with how the rice is spread out, go ahead and place some plastic wrap over the top. Then you'll flip it over. Now it's ready to add ingredients. The beautiful thing about sushi is you can put anything you want inside of it. So we're just going to do different variations of California rolls with and without ribeye. Then we'll add a little glaze of teriyaki sauce, or as I like to call it, teriyummy sauce. Once all the ingredients are in there, you can begin the rolling process. Now this technique is used to roll uh, the rolls with the rice on the outside. It's a little bit more difficult. squeeze, keeping firm pressure, rolling slowly, and, and making sure to pull the plastic along with it. Then you can slide the roll back and do it again. Now periodically you want to squeeze firmly to make sure everything is nice and tight. Now this roll is ready for cutting. So we'll use the same plastic over the top. And then one last time, we'll take our bamboo mat, and squeeze it nicely to flatten the bottom and make sure everything is nice and tight. Then leaving the plastic on, we'll cut, starting from the center, and then we'll half each piece until we're left with eight pieces. Definitely helps to have a sharp knife at this process. Now this roll is ready for toppings. For these rolls, we're just gonna do a light drizzle of teriyaki sauce. Sriracha. and then sprinkle some sesame seeds over the top. And this roll is done. For the next roll, we'll do a regular California roll using the seaweed on the outside method. This method is a lot easier, especially if you're new and you've never rolled before. I would recommend to do this you don't have to mess with the plastic, and you just put the ingredients on the inside. We use two sticks of imitation crab. Make that two and a half. Slice cucumber sticks. And three avocado slices. This is your standard California roll. You'll start by rolling over the, the roll so the ingredients are tucked in nicely. Then we can slide back the roll and begin rolling with the bamboo mat. Making sure to keep firm pressure. Now this definitely takes some practice, so don't feel bad if your first few rolls don't turn out very well. Then we're going to go ahead and cut up the rest of these rolls we made and begin plating.
you can get creative if you want. It's fun with sushis to to get a little artsy and to decorate them nicely or place them on the plate in a unique fashion. Now this last roll we did here was all of the rest of the ingredients we had. So this one is a big boy. <laughs> At this point, we're getting very hungry. Now we'll finish plating. Add the same toppings we used before with some wasabi on the side and enjoy. We've got our California rolls and our Ribifornia rolls. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed this or learned, uh, please give us a like. Give us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Until the next one, peace out. I'm going to talk about Johnson. <laughs> what am I still eating? <laughs>